Now that worked really well for the body, but you can see if we click over on the headgear and make that visible, we have the exact same problem. We have a bunch of pieces in here that all need to be voxelized together. Now the cool thing about Houdini is we can use this one voxel mesh and the properties for that. Since we know it works for the body, we know it'll probably work for the headgear. So let's go ahead and do both of these at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is hit tab and type for each named, and that's gonna give us a for each named primitive. So you already know that we have named primitives in here. If I select this poly reduce here, and actually, oops, let's go ahead and click our selector over here. Uh, so we have body high. Now one thing you are gonna notice is when we go in here to voxel mesh, we lost our name. We'll get that back. But those are, we do originally have named primitives in, primitives in here, which is perfect. So let's do this. This voxel mesh here, if you just take this node and just shake it, that'll go ahead and disconnect it here. And I wanna put both of the body and the headgear into this one for each loop so I can run the voxel mesh on both of those at the same time. So what I'm gonna to need to do is hit tab and type in merge. And we're gonna temporarily merge these. And by temporarily, I mean we can always split it out later. So we're gonna merge both those together and you can see we have body and headgear back together. I'm gonna plug this into the for each loop. And right now the for each loop isn't doing much, but I can take this voxel mesh here I can plug this in here and then put the output here. And now if I click this for each end and then click visibility, you're gonna see it's going to run that voxelize on both of, the, both of those objects. Now, there's a couple problems here. Number one, you're gonna see we lost our names. And number two, if we zoom in, you're gonna see the headgear is actually voxelizing at a much higher density than our body. And that's because if you click on vo voxel mesh here, we have it set to custom, but bounding box relative is checked on. What that means is it's taking the bounding box of the headgear and voxelizing it at that, at that uh, resolution, and then taking the bounding box of the body and voxelizing it at that resolution. So you're getting two different results. So here's what we're gonna do to play it safe. I'm gonna drop our resolution back to 0.1, very, very low, turn off bounding box relative, and now I'm gonna dial in the resolution that I need. So again, we'll start out slow, we'll say 0.01, and now you can see the resolution between both of these is the exact same. It's using the same bounding box for both. So let's play it safe and we'll type in, say 0 0.005. And that's actually pretty good. Again, let's put it back to 0 0.0025. Yeah, that'll work. So now the bounding box relative off has made both of these voxelize a little bit more predictably. So that fixed that problem. But again, we have lost our name. So we're gonna have to copy those attributes. So type, uh, hit tab and type in attribute transfer we'll put that here and we'll move this for each node down a little bit here because basically what we want to do is we want to run the voxel mesh and then take the result of that voxel mesh into the attribute transfer and then the attribute transfer into the input of that for each loop and now if we go up here to this node you're going to see we haven't lost our names yet so we're going to take our names that have been lost yet and plug it into this side of the attribute transfer now, if we click on the attribute transfer node itself, you're gonna see it's copying over two things. And if you zoom in in your viewport, you're gonna see uh, it's actually doing some kind of funky stuff. And that's because it's taking the point information, which in our case contains vert color information, which for voxelization, I don't need. I do need my vert information if I'm gonna bake from the original. That hasn't changed and that's still sitting here just fine. But for my voxelization, I don't need that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck points. And let's go ahead and click on our for each node and make that visible. And now you can see, actually, we've got our names back, even though we didn't specify. But if we go to attribute transfer, we have primitives turned on. Let's make, let's play it safe. Go ahead and click this down arrow and click name. So now we know we have primitives checked on, and it's going to pass our name information from the object to the voxelize result. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and split this again. So we can hit split, hit tab, type in split. And then now we have this one. Let's go ahead and split that body back out. This down arrow here, we'll go to body high. Let's hit tab and type in null. And then alt drag out a copy of that. And then on this left side here, this is going to be our body again. And on this right side here is gonna be our headgear. So up to this point, we've taken our body and our headgear, we've voxelized all these individual pieces into one solid mesh for game resing. And then here, I'm gonna take these eyes and just move these down, move glass down and move teeth down so we can start focusing in on how we want to process the rest of these for game res as well as the body and the headgear.